touched him on the shoulder of the Sixers now in the penalty. The Braves have a foul to give. They only have three team fouls. And Ted McClain makes the first. McClain, a seven-year veteran from Tennessee State. 6'3", 190. Makes the first one. And he ties the game. He rolled it in. 105, 105, a minute and a half to go. As the Braves come from six down in the last minute and a half. There's Bibby with the ball. Super game. Julia serving on Billy Knight. Burns dumps underneath the catching. Harvey can't get it down, but he'll go to the line. Brilliant pass by Julia Irving, getting the open bat, who happened to be catching. Foul is on Nader. It'll be his fifth, and let's take a look at it. Watch the pass. Oh, that is a pass, friends. And actually, uh, Harvey Ketching felt uh, more pressure on that shot. Uh, really, if he had just gone out to lay the ball up, he would have been able to make it. But he felt like he was uh, going to be hit harder. Actually, Nader didn't even go up to put any pressure on the shot. Harvey makes the first one. And the second. Way to go, Harvey. 107 105 with a minute and 17 seconds left. Harvey catching with a couple of big foul shots. McLean taking the ball over the middle. Buffalo playing with great boys. Billy Knight with Julius Irving. Ted McLean. Marvin Barnes in the lane. Comes out of the lane now. Here's McLean. Puts the shot. Oh. That's, 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 the ball is loose and a foul against Buffalo. Offensive foul. Buffalo loose ball. It might be Marvin Barnes. McGinnis is on the floor. Marvin Barnes, number five. Big play. As the clock shows, 58 seconds left. Henry Bibby was all alone with Ted McLean, and McLean had the whole right side of the floor. And uh, Henry uh, really playing good defense on McLean, making him take that shot with his left hand. Uh, an unnatural shot from McLean going to his right. Harvey Ketching came over and just got a piece of the ball to uh, spoil the shot if it was going in. And, Harvey has a chance to go to the free throw line again and extend the lead to four. McGinnis fell off Harvey to the floor. Harvey on the line. Here's his shot. Just a... Harvey's just made two. One here would really help. With 58 seconds to go, and the Sixers leading 107-105. He bounced it in. Big one. 108-105, and here come the Braves. Who thinks they've given up? Forget it. Here's Randy Spence. There's a shot. There's not much doubt about it. Randy Smith with an elbow. And it's a gutty call by Bannock against the home team. A good anticipation on the part of Doug Collins, uh, anticipating that Randy would come back to the left, and he, there he was to take the charge. Seen some gutsy officiating in Detroit the other night by Hugh Holland, and now we're seeing some gutsy officiating by John Bannock here in Buffalo. Not easy to do. Bibby with the ball. To get it. Collins. Driving away. That might do it, friends. That might do it. 26 seconds left. Here goes Randy Smith. Collins is flattened again. And there is another one. There is another charge. Randy Smith as Collins took another charge. And Cunningham pounding Collins on the back. So two charges by Randy Smith have killed the Braves. And the Sixers ought to be able to ride it in down to a win. They lead 110 to 105. If they can nail it down, it's eight in a row. Here goes the doctor to catch him, and he dumps it. And it's Harvey who's put in a couple of tough fouls and gets the dunk. 112 to 105, and how are you? Billy Knight with the ball. Randy Smith with a jumper now. He didn't Randy. charge on that one. There's Collins bringing it down. That's the buzzer, and the game is all over. Buffalo gave it a tremendous shot, but made a couple of grievous errors at the end. And great plays by great players at the end help put the Buffalo Braves to sleep. The 76ers win their eighth game in a row. Atlanta, Seattle, Boston, Milwaukee, Houston, Detroit, Golden State, and Buffalo, and here we come San Antonio. Final score tonight at Buffalo, Sixers 112, Braves 107. We'll be back in a moment.